you just watched a cool tutorial on how to run Stable Diffusion to finally unleash your creative potential. You open Google Colab Notebook, run each cell, and Stable Diffusion starts running. You input a prompt, negative prompt, and get results. Something like this, or maybe like that. Well, the result might be not too bad, but you realize that is not what you see on CVTA. Partially, this problem can be solved with a VAE, variational autoencoder. If you search what VAE is on Google, you will understand that you don't understand anything. If we simplify it, VAE is a model that learns to generate new data based on the data it has seen during the training. VAE consists of two components, encoding and decoding. During encoding, the model simplifies the input data to save computational resources on your GPU. If you use a my notebook, Google's review. During decoding, the model reconstructs the original data from this simplified representation. Of course, there might be some loss of information during the reconstruction process. If there was limited anime data in the dataset, the decoded result in the anime style may suffer. It could be less detailed, not so bright, and so on. Therefore, VAE is a more valuable for stylization, although this is largely depends on the dataset used. If we simplify it extremely, VAE E can be seen as a filter that generally reduces detail but can improve the overall perception of an image. Some models already include VAE, while others are not required. This decision is up to you. My task is to show you how to add VAE to okay, your models. Get started, open the Google Colab notebook, the link to which I have shared in the description of this video as usual. The hardest part is behind us, now everything is straightforward. We run each cell of our notebook one by one. As usual, you start the next one before finishing of previous one. Step 1 just finished, let's run our step 2, download our model. Once again, I decided to choose Realistic Vision V2. As you can see, some steps are optional, so execute them if you only need the LoRa or ControlNet models. In our cases, we don't need that, so let's start step 2.3, add VAE models. Uh, here we can see something scary in the node. Don't worry, I decided to make it easier to download multiple models without visually burdening the notebook, so simply add the link to the desired model and then add the colon and specify the model's extension. Let's take our VAE model. First one will be official VAE model from Stable Diffusion, Stability AI to be precise. Let's choose pickle file, copy link address as usual and pass it here. Now colon and then write extension of your model. In our case it's ECKP and let's put another model. Let's try this one, anime VAE. Choose our model, save changes, copy link address once again and paste it here. Then colon and our extension of our model. In our case it's safe tensor, so we should write ST. That's all. Let's download our model. If you find this format convenient for adding models, please write it in the comments and I will also do the same with the regular models like stable diffusion, logger and etc. We just downloaded our models, so final step, let's run our stable diffusion. Stable diffusion just started, follow the link that appeared. Open our web UI interface. Let's try some prompt from CVTI. Let's take this one, copy generated data and generate our result. Here we go, we've got our results. And now let's switch on our VAE model. Go to settings, stable diffusion, and here you can see SD VAE section. Let's choose uh, VAE MSE CKPT. It's official stability AI VAE model. Press apply settings. Perfect, and now let's generate the same. We generate our image and let's compare our results. Here we go. You can see that VAE is working, cause there is some minor difference in the outfit, but also, as you can see on the right picture, way more contrast. There is a bit more detail, so yeah, VAE is working at this moment. And also you can try to use another VAE without much troubles. So that's it. It's extremely to use VAE with a stable diffusion, especially with my notebook, which I made special for you because you asked me, so you're welcome. Thanks for watching. I hope that you like this video and find this video helpful. If you want to support my channel, please check my other videos, not only about stable diffusion. It would be better if you watch them till the end.